Welcome to the Continuum Lab. So, I have this bread sensor that I made in the last video and it works really well, but that's not enough. If I want to make an actual instrument out of this, then the next step is going to be some kind of mouthpiece. Now, I do know a little something about mouthpieces because I've played the saxophone and clarinet for over 25 years. But also because of this, my brainchild, my open horn MIDI system, which has a unique mouthpiece with a few important superpowers, which are meant to trick the brain into feeling the responsiveness of a real saxophone mouthpiece while not actually having any acoustic elements at all. And that's what I'll be attempting in this video. Today I'll make a simple mouthpiece with a single lower lip sensor meant to emulate the effect of the lip on a saxophone reed. I'm going to make it out of recycled materials and extremely simple components and all of that in the next two minutes. Let's do it. As usual, I'm going to need some cardboard and a bit of recycled plastic from a food container. I'll make a hole in the middle of the plastic like this, where the tube from the breath sensor will fit through. We need a perfect hermetic seal, so I'll make the hole a bit smaller than the tube for a tight fit. Now the silicone tube expands and seals completely, even if we bend the plastic. So let's bend it into a mouthpiece shape. The plastic is actually a bit too bendy, so I'll make a simple cardboard structure to help keep everything in shape. This is where my lower lip will go, so I'll add the capacitive sensor here to read the lip position. And by sensor, I just mean a piece of copper sticky tape with a cable soldered to it. I'll stick this down on the inside of the plastic like this, pointy end toward the tip. This is going to give me a progressive response as I move my lip further up the mouthpiece, which also happens on an acoustic instrument. Next, I'll glue everything together. Apply the hot glue to the cardboard first. If you apply it to the plastic, the heat will make it warp. Then we can plug in the new sensor. And now, same as always, I'll connect the Teensy to my computer via USB and then upload this new version of the breath sensor sketch from last time, which now includes the lip sensor as well. The code for this prototype is on GitHub, there's a link in the description. And now I can finally open up my software synthesizer and try it out. Now, of course, this is not at all the same thing as the effect of your lip on the reed of an actual woodwind instrument, but it's enough to trick the brain into thinking that there's something more going on, which gives for a much more interesting and responsive playing experience. In the next video, I'll be tricking the brain some more, this time with a mouthpiece that can actually measure the position of my tongue inside my mouth while I'm playing not witchcraft, just technology. And speaking of technology, all of the components and boards that I use in my uh, videos and in these MIDI instrument builds are going to be part of a DIY kit that I'll start selling very soon. I'm calling it the Click for Continuum Lab Instrument Kit. Uh, if you want to make sure that you don't miss any of that, then you should definitely subscribe right here in the Continuum Lab YouTube channel and also look me up over on Instagram, also as Continuum Lab. And that's all for now. Take care until next time, and I'll see you in the continuum.